A lot of people ask me, what's PBS compared to a national network? And in a lot of ways, they're the same. For the average viewer, they turn it on and it's just like another network. It comes on every night and the shows that they love appear every week. But in reality, public television is very different than a network. First of all, it's public media, so it's free to everyone. Whereas cable, for example, costs money and people have to decide if they're gonna invest in that or not. Um, but probably the biggest thing that sets PBS apart from networks is that it's really an affiliation of stations. And all of those public television stations across the country really control what's on their broadcast. And they have individual programmers in their market deciding, this is what I think my viewers want to see. So the famous check local listings is really born out of the fact that public television is really a democracy. And stations across the country get to decide what they're going to show, when they're going to show it, how many times they're going to repeat it. So um, that's what most people don't recognize about PBS. And they don't understand, well, my mom saw this show last week on Tuesday night, but it's not on until Friday night here. Why is that? It's because the, you know, the station programmer in X city decided to put it on a different night with another program and you know there are changes across the system. For us it's a great thing because it means that we can usually work with programmers to figure out when programs fit their service best. Uh, obviously Tuesday nights at 10 is where we think independent lens belongs but ITVS funds a lot of films that aren't just on independent lens and so it's a question of helping the programmers figure out what's the best time slot and what are their needs for when they can use those programs to have a maximum audience.